Hey, welcome you guys to another video on Camera Vince's Photo Mechanic, the ultimate professional workflow tool. In this video, we're going to cover the preview mode, selecting and comparing images. So let's get started. Now let's take a look at some of the images that we ingested earlier and see if we can't jump into the preview mode. Let's go ahead and open up our sample images. Here we have a few thumbnails and um, let's go ahead and make these a little bit smaller so that we can see them on the screen. Now the preview mode is really easy to get to. You use the magnifying glass right here, click on the photo and voila you've got a preview mode. There's a whole lot that you can do in here and we're going to briefly go through this pretty quickly. So what you have here is you have your set of tools, you have a set of information and a variety of different uh, commands. You also have your thumbnails down here. You can scroll through your thumbnails and look at them individually. You can rotate your thumbnails if you need to. You can edit the IPTC info. We'll talk about that in a little bit. You can unselect uh, selected info from here. You can copy images. You can send it to your editor. You can delete them. But the most important part of this is the preview tools. And that's kind of why we're here is to preview the image. This shows you the whole image. This will show you images side by side so that you can compare two images. And we'll look at these in a minute. This shows images top and bottom. This puts you back into the current screen that you're at with the info over here and thumbnails down here. And the, this puts you into full screen mode, and this is your color management toggle so that you can uh, go between the color profile that's embedded into the image or you can go with the standard color profile that is set in the preferences. And we'll talk about this a little bit more in detail as we go along. So what are we actually looking at? Well, this is our image. And what we're going to do here is we're going to decide whether or not we want to keep these, tag them, and, and so on. So down here you have your ratings, so you can rate your images. Over here you have color profile, and then you have a, a selection tool. This information over here is the EXIF data that comes right out of the camera. This is changeable, by the way. And, and uh, if you're interested in changing this data so that you can see more or less, it's pretty simple. You, you go ahead and just you head over to the edit tool, the edit tab, you come down to settings and you hit set info text and then here is all the information that shows up there so you can add you can add multiple lines, you can change this around a little bit, we might make some modifications to this in a little bit but all the information in that window is here and you can modify this to meet your needs. So let's go back to our preview. Now where this really does shine is when you're when you're tagging a few images you know maybe you have two images like the picture of this deer and this one and you're not quite sure which one you want to tag you can go to the side-by-side -side mode and you can select one and then you can select the other one and you can see them side by side and if you use this tool you can go to full screen mode and you can make a decision of which one of these you want to keep and if you have multiple iterations, you can leave one up and change the other one until you get the ones you like. So I can se select here and then I can pick another image. Say this image, hypothetically if they were the same. And then you can continue to compare your images side by side. You want to view them from top to bottom, you just click over here and you can view them top to bottom. Obviously this is going to work a little bit better with landscapes than it is portraits. But you kind of you kind of get the idea of what's going on here. This is your ability to do comparisons. Other things that are of note in here is the ability to set cropping values. So let's go ahead and look at this image here. We'll go ahead and go back to single view. We'll go ahead and close the zoom and we'll open the crop tool. Now let's say that we want to crop this image into an 8 by 10. We'll go ahead to, and constrain it to 8 inches wide by 10 inches tall. We'll select the crop tool. We'll bring it over to our image. And wait for the, there we go, to expand it. And then we'll use the hand tool to select, to select it. 
Now, in Photomechanic, this is not going to physically cut the image, nor is it physically going to change your RAW file or JPEG, depending on which one you're looking at. What it's doing is it's setting a crop boundary so that when we do export, say, to email or save to disk, or we're going to send it to Smug Mug or Flickr, it's going to actually crop it on these constraints if we tell it to do so. So it's just going to put in the marker for you, and that's pretty much it. Other things that we can do is we can zoom into a photo. We can see we want to look at the fine detail here. We can come over to the zoom tool, and right now we're viewing this at 16%. We can slide this down to 100%, and now we have the 100%. And we can use our hand to move this around and see what kind of detail that we have in this photo. Make sure this is what we're looking for. The other important aspect over here is our histogram. This is a basic histogram, shows us what's going on with this photo. And in making decisions, this is going to help us decide whether or not this photo is going to be properly exposed over, say, another one. There's one more thing that I would like to cover here that I feel that is important, and that is the color profile. Now, this has a tendency to get some people. We're not going to discuss color profiles um, in full detail here, but I will mention that some photos will have color profiles embedded into them. Whether you're using ProPhoto or Adobe sRGB, the thing that I like to do is I like to have my preferences set so that I can export to sRGB for all of my lab work that I'm going to send to the lab. But I may be editing in, say, ProPhoto instead, and it's going to have an effect on how that photo is viewed. I can switch back and forth to color and color management. This is managed, and this is unmanaged. So it's important to know what color profile you have embedded into your image and how that's going to show up in your final product, whether it's for the web or for, for a lab to be printed. Mm -hmm.